What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and some more epic Napoleonic coverage here from Warlord. So Black Powder Epic Scales here, again continuing on from what they released last year with American Civil War. Now we are into the Napoleonic era and again lots of good stuff here. So this is the French Infantry Brigade. As you can see we get quite a bit of stuff here similar to what the brigade boxes were for um, ACW. So again infantry, some cavalry, uh, uh, like commanders basically and then some artillery as well. So flipping over here again so we're gonna get basically three sprues three base sprues and uh, again a whole lot of guys here so um, so this I think as it says here right 80 men each on these and then some guns as well with some skirmishers included here so we're gonna get this open and sorted for you guys and then we will be right back Alrighty, guys, we are back. We got everything sorted for you here. So we get our flag sheet, which again, if you've seen our other videos, same flag sheet here for the French for everything. But basically, you get a whole lot on here. So different infantry, cavalry flags, and really good detail. So again, very generous on their part. I imagine the British uh, uh, um, flags will be equivalent here. So we'll get again a good variety of different things. So we're gonna set that off again. We get our bases. Pretty self-explanatory, so the more line infantry will go here, artillery on the bigger one, commanders and some skirmishers I think will go on these smaller square ones here. So taking a look here, this is similar to the sprue that they kind of released as demo sprues, but again we get our skirmishers up at the top here, some nice different poses, command figure, artillery, again artillery really is the only thing that's going to require assembly in this game which is cool. Everything else is basically just clip from the sprue and put it on the base, right? Super easy. And then our infantry as well. And we'll flip this over for you guys here just so we can get these guys more right side up. So Again, and Warlord's just, I think, done a fantastic job of capturing detail for these guys. We'll take a look at the back as well. But again, very simple affair. Just clip them off the sprue and put them on the base. So again, we get three whole sprues of this. So if we rearrange here a little bit for you guys. So again, that is the entirety of what you get in this brigade box. Let's get that back in focus. There we go. So again, all kinds of good infantry here. It's a little bit of artillery, some command figures, plenty of skirmishers. So nice little pickup here. Again, I think these range around 30 bucks. Uh, you know, don't forget the flags that are included. But um, yeah, so nice easy pickup and easy way to expand and especially at the scale right it certainly uh, feels like you're getting a good chunk of extra stuff when you pick up one of these boxes but overall again i think warlord has just done an excellent job with the plastics at the scale keeping the detail making it super easy just as far as again getting stuff up and running pre-colored plastic let you kind of know who your forces are before you really have a chance to get into all the painting and stuff like that so let us know in the comments guys what you think of this particular set but also just in general what uh, warlord's doing here with these uh, epic releases um, and where you think this is, should keep going. So obviously they've already announced future waves and hopefully we'll get all the actual um, um, participants in the conflicts um, for the Napoleonic era. So I think that I think has already kind of been confirmed. So, you know, we'll get Austrians, Prussians, Russians, Portuguese, all that stuff. So uh, Spanish, etc. So that should be a good thing to look forward to there. So I know initially, obviously the Focus will be on the French and British, but again, that's going to expand. So, and again, I think everything is slated to be in plastic, more or less. So that's always a good thing. Now, certainly looking forward to seeing what they do. Hopefully when we get to other eras, ancients, I think of this scale would be absolutely fantastic. And again, just um, compared to maybe some of the other things with like 28 mil, this is certainly super easy to get into. And, you know, painting wise, you don't have to be, you know, all that fancy with some of this stuff so especially you know when these are numbering in the hundreds and excuse me hundreds and hundreds of figures so but certainly ancients there's you know unlimited possibility there for really you know everything they could touch upon certainly in the sort of more classic ancient period right rome greeks persia carthage that kind of stuff but you know later 
medieval periods, dark ages, um, you know, Viking battles, um, you know, the, the crusades, etc., And even like Pike and shot era, I think would be fantastic for this as well. So again, you got 30 years war, um, wars of, uh, Louis the 14th and everything. Uh, hell, even Italian wars, I think would be cool with this. Um, certainly battles in Japan, right. Um, so all the great, uh, conflicts there. So there's just, again, lots, lots of possibilities to keep this epic scale, uh, going. So, and I think the fan response has been pretty good so far. I think these by all indications have sold very, very well along with, you know, the civil war stuff again from last year. So let us know in the comments, guys, what you think. Um, and then we will have plenty more coming here for our other French, uh, things that we picked up and we'll work on getting these put together and then painted and hopefully getting some games out for you guys here too. So stay tuned guys. Thanks so much. As always, we will see you in the next one. Like, and subscribe if you haven't already and take care.